Hamlet does have two dozen or more speaking parts. But I was worried that I'd get enough kids to act in the play at all, especially boy kids. Kid theater, then as now, is primarily a female sport. There's a, there's a lot of reasons given for this, but the real explanation is that at that age, the girls are taller than the boys. The girls are maturing sooner. They're filling out and shooting up while the boys are still tiny homunculi from the Shire. Besides, <laughs> I've heard whispers of a boycott instigated, no doubt, by Chucky Thompson of the Jerry Cabal. The casting session was to take place after school, so I went in and wrote on one side of the chalkboard the names of all the characters, and on the other side left it blank for the names of my actors. Then I uh, got in my position and waited for them to arrive. Enter Beth Peterson, the tallest girl in class. She had grandeur, and her father was a stockbroker. She would be my Gertrude, my queen. Enter Ted Daly, with his knife-edged cheekbones and slitty eyes, and a voice that had lowered earlier than the rest of ours, giving, a, giving him a swooping up and down quality, like a demented FM disc jockey. <laughs> he would be Claudius, the king, the uncle who was our villain. Enter Randy Ormond, Horatio, Hamlet's friend. You know, I, uh, I gave Randy a shock once when we were in Cub Scouts. We were on a hike, and I, uh, I touched an electric fence and grabbed for the scout next to me. It was Randy. <laughs> that year at the awards banquet, we were given badges for being the first Cub Scouts electrocuted in the state of Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Randy, or Kevin Molesic, shortest kid in class. Having to play old as Polonius, the king's advisor, Kevin would do this by, uh, by taping a chunk of cotton wool to his lower lip, the uh, earliest known instance of a soul patch. <laughs> and Cheryl Haggis. I sat behind Cheryl Haggis for five years. I had the worst crush on Cheryl. Naturally, I pretended to hate her. That's how these things are done. <laughs> Cheryl punched me once in the arm gave me a bruise which I nurtured like something out of Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> Cheryl would be my Ophelia, she who was in love with the Hamlet. 